In this video, I want to tell you everything you need to know about Gmail aliases and how to set them up, how to use them, and some of the other features that you may not know about when it comes to aliases. So let's dive in and talk about Gmail aliases. First thing is, what is an alias? I like starting here because there, everyone has questions if you're not familiar with the term. Basically, what an email alias is, is a, a way to receive and send email from different email, like email users and, and even domains if you own the domains. So a lot of times people are aware that you can set up aliases to receive emails. So like, for example, I, you could email me at chris at hello boolean. You could also email me at chris at sky.media or chris at sky studios. These are all old business uh, domains that we had at one point, and sometimes people have those emails. So I have them as aliases, so they come in. What people don't realize is that I also have aliases at for Hello Boolean or support at Hello Boolean or any of those things. It could be, you know, big, big dinosaur at helloboolean.com. You can make the alias for whatever you want. Those are all aliases that receive emails. But what is really valuable here is when you set up the alias to be able to send the email. So I want to dive into how to do that right now. The first thing you're going to do is log into Google Admin Console. So you're going to dive in here, click on the one here. We're going to use my example that I made here for hello. And if you look at this, we have the hello or in, underneath user information. So when you create the account, you can go to user information and then you'll see that we have the alternate emails with these are your email aliases. And so right now I have my root user is hello at helloboolean.com. I also have created email addresses for hello at booleanreview.com, hi at helloboolean.com, and info at helloboolean.com. And again, I want to point out that you can make as many of these as you want. So you could say, you know, question at sky.media or hello boolean or any of the other domains that you have. And so that's the, the first thing is just setting up the different ones that you want to be able to send from or so that you want to be able to receive email at. Then you're going to go ahead and save that. Now, if you go, you want to log into that email account. So I'll pull up the other screen here. And if we have hello at helloboolean.com and we'll log in here. So when you get into your email account here, so you can see here, I'm logged into the hello at hello boolean. If I go to compose an email, you'll notice that I don't have the ability to send from any of my aliases right now. So what you need to do is you go to your settings and you have to do this in the account that you want to set up this alias for. And then in the email here, you're going to go to accounts and then you want to click add another email address. So what you're going to do here is type in the other email address that you set up inside the admin console. So if I go look, here's my inside the admin console and I want to set up hello at booleanreview.com as my other alias. So you can't see this on the screen, but there's a little box that popped up. It's a yellow box that says, add another email address that you own. And so I can type in the name and then hello boolean or hello at booleanreview.com. And I'm gonna click treat as an email alias and then click next steps. So now it's going to, I can say continue and allow, enable desktop notifications, okay. So now that's been done. So if I go back to here, I can see that in the settings. If I go to see all under accounts, I should have another email address. So to further make the example here, I'm going to do YouTube example at booleanreview.com. Hit save. And now when I go back to here, I can click add another email address and any one of these emails in here, I can add as an alias. So there's a little box that popped up that's on another window that you can't see at the moment, but just so you can Try, there's it's a yellow box says add another email address that you own. So I'm going to say YouTube example at booleanreview.com. And I'm going to click next step. And I'm also going to add the hi at booleanreview.com. Next step. 
And now it's saying it's going to send a verification. So I'm going to say send verification. And it's sending the email right now. You can see that this already popped up here. And then in the verification, actually, I think that it actually automatically verified because it knows that it's an alias. So sometimes you might have to do that verification or you might not. But now I have this hi at hello boolean. If I want to do one more here, I'm going to do the question at hello boolean as well. So I could do question at hello boolean.com and next step. And there you go. So now I have those. And then if I go to compose, I can come over here and now I can send an email to whoever I want and I can adjust who I'm having the email come from. So it looks like the hi at boolean.review.com. Oh, actually, I don't even have that as a alias. So that's why it's not showing up or that's why it's telling me I have to verify it. But if I would have put in hi at, oh, let's do hi at boolean.review.com. Now I have that as an alias, so I can hit save. And then if I went back to here and did the verify, it's going to send a confirmation link. And here you go, here's the confirmation. I can click, yep, confirm, and I can confirm again. And now in my account here, I have that other one, hi at hello boolean. So I can send from hello at hello boolean, hi at boolean review, or question at hello boolean.com, any of those. So that's setting it up so you have the ability to send from. The one other thing that I forgot to mention, if you're not seeing, like say you own a couple different domains, the first thing that you need to do inside of your admin console is manage all of your domains. So you want to make sure that all of the domains that you own are under the same account. So you can, like my primary domain is the sky.media. That was my original business. And then I can add additional domains. So I can add a domain and then connect my domain for some other business to the same account. If you don't have your domain set up under the same admin account, you will not be able to do this. So you need to make sure that all of the domains that you're trying to use are all under one account. If you have them set up in separate accounts, I believe the only way to fix that is with either removing the domain entirely or asking Google support to migrate or merge your Google admin consoles together. But that's the first thing that you need to do in order to get all this to work. So let me know if that makes sense or what other questions you have, but this is a super common problem and hopefully uh, this helped. Thank you so much for watching. If you are a painter or a painting company that is looking to automate or streamline your back office processes, incorporate AI, new technology, integrate your softwares together, that is what we do here at Boolean. We'd love to talk and help you out. We've helped over 16 painting companies around the country and in Canada streamline their processes, and we'd love to help you as well.